I'm going to show you a secret in Star Wars Jedi Survivor that has to do with that giant bird that you encounter and rescue when you have to reach the forest array. So if you've ever done that part of the main story, then you'll have freed the bird and it'll fly off. You might have even, like me, stared at and watched it fly off. Well, now after you do that, there's somewhere that you can go in order to interact with it. Now I'm going to show you how to get there from the settlement. It's south of here, all the way over here. So in order to get this, in order to get there, uh, I'm going to do this dash jump because it's the fastest way to move. So you're going to head over this way. And you'll see this part on the wall right here that you can climb up. You're going to have to do this in order to get up to where we need to go. And then from here, once you jump up this, you're going to want to head over to the right. So over this way. And then from here, uh, you're going to drop down into this river. And then you're going to follow this river. And it's going to lead to a cave on the right, but we're not going to that cave. You're going to see a crashed ship up here. And that is where you're going to want to go. It's not the only way up here, but it's like the fastest way up here. So you're going to go up here. Uh, the first time you go, if you'll go here, there will be um, stormtroopers right here to kill. And then you're going to head over this way. And there's a ravine over here. And we're going to head over into this ravine. And over through this ravine leads to somewhere that we want to go in order to find the bird again so you're gonna head over here and you're gonna wrap around here and you'll see this meditation point with that in the background and that's how you know you've made it to the right area now what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump on this conveniently placed mount that just spawns here you're gonna walk over to this ledge and you're going to jump up and then double jump up uh, there will be enemies up here you can deal with them any way that you want to deal with them Okay, and then after that, uh, there's a like a little thing here with a, um, an enemy for you to fight. But what you need to do is, and you won't be able to do this until you've gotten really far through your game. It'll be after you rescue Z, and then it'll be after you chase down uh, Dagon or Dagon or whatever in the flying area or whatever. You have the ability to pull these things and throw them. Or maybe you can just do it even without it, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, whoops. Uh, maybe you can come here earlier than that. I don't know. You can try. Anyway, then you're going to th throw one of these. You're going to grab it. You're going to do this. Oh, it's after you uh, locate Ravis. There's a mission called Locate Ravis. That's the one. And then you get the thing you need in order to do this. So you will need to wait for that, actually. All right. And then you okay. go over here. Maybe you'll be and there's the bird that you rescue, rescued. And so now there's, there's a contextual button at the bottom. And you press it. Easy. And Good it girl. will take you to a new area. It'll just load in like this. And now suddenly... You'll be in this secret area. And this secret area is right by the start of this entire planet. There's an area that you couldn't access before. And now you can. So now all you gotta do is touch this elevator. And then uh, the shortcut will be activated. I did not mean to do that. Um, so there you go. And after that shortcut's activated, now you can come here the normal way if you want to. So now there's this whole area to explore. The first thing you'll notice here, so looking from here, you head out this way. Uh, the first and most obvious thing that's up here is one of these. You'll go over to this and interact with this. This is strange. And it will take you into one of these challenge levels. You have a limited amount of time. They're not a limited amount of time, but it has a timer. But I don't think the timer actually matters. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this one. So you grab that and throw it. Go around the red barriers. Grab this. And this is the first tricky part. If your timing's bad, you'll have to backtrack on this wall, like jump and then dash back into it. But my timing is good, so I don't have to. I right, grab this and then go. Grab that and then go. Wait a second. And then do this one. And then do this one. And then try not to go to the very top, because then you can bump your head, and that's like super obnoxious. All right, and then do that. Wall run that. Double jump dash, grab this, immediately go over this way. Now here's the tricky part, the trickiest part of the whole thing. First off, you have to land on this platform. Immediately grab this, launch it over there, and then jump and then grab it because that platform you're on falls. Now, the way you're supposed to do is go for this one, and then go to the left, and then grab that. Go to the left again, grab that, and then jump over to this and dash, and that takes you to the end. And doing that, will give you, I think, um, a skill point. I think it gives. Yeah, it gives a skill know, point. BD. 
So that was how to do fractured agility. Now, also up here, you notice we're over here. Some more stuff. Over here, this is like not really important, but there's a hilarious graphical glitch where the sand uh, kind of just goes over the edge like that and messes up, which is kind of funny. Uh, other than that, though, we're going to go back over this way now. And there's one of those loot bot things over there. Which honestly, oh, there we go. I got it. You can interact with it and it'll have a priorite shard on it. So there's one of those there. And then if you keep going this way, it goes over here where this thing can try to knock you off the map. And uh, was there something to interact with over there? I thought I saw something. Oh, the scan. It's just about the thing I just killed though. And then uh, you can actually drop down to here, maybe. No, you can't drop down to there. Okay, I think that's literally everything here. Um, there's this, which I don't think is anything. And uh, I think that's about it. It's just the scavenger droid. And then the agility um, test thing, the challenge. And that's it. So this is the secret area. You can get here after, well, like I said, you have to uh, free the bird, but you also have to get far enough into the story that uh, you have to get far enough into the story to where you get the ability to put those balloons into the air. But yeah, so this is the secret area with the bird. So now you know how to get to the secret area and how to do the fractured agility puzzle or challenge and all that in Star Wars Jedi Survivor.